I actually love that. I feel like from the side would look cool. Yeah. I'm even getting just like that little bit of green at the top. It looks really nice. Hey everyone, today I have a fun little behind the scenes shoot on the Canon EOS R6 and the RF 35mm f1.8, which is a small and budget 35mm lens and we're going to see what it can do. This isn't a full review of the 35 f1.8, but I do want to share some of my thoughts during my experience using it. Oh, I'm going to close up there. Beautiful. Yeah, I love this outfit so much. <laughs> I was shooting wide open this entire session and I'm pretty happy with the sharpness of the final photos. The IAF was working the whole time and the autofocus accuracy was good with only a few photos here and there with missed focus. Oh, that's cool. Very moody. And then do you want to try one kind of walking towards me and I can yeah. walk backwards? So maybe we'll start like a little bit further up and we'll walk just towards the end of the wall. Yeah. So I'll be kind of close-ish up to you. All right. Oh, we'll go a little bit slower. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And I just love the movement uh, that walking creates. <laughs> I stepped on this and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> This outfit is so the shot. I is know, the shot of I love it. Perfect. <laughs> well, let's go into the sun. <laughs> oh, and those buildings down there look so pretty. Yeah, let's do some harsh sun photos here. If it gets too bright, you can close your eyes to like have a rest and stuff too. Yeah, I like that leaning towards the camera looked really cool. For its price range, I think the photos that are in focus have beautiful clarity and this would be a great lens option for portraits if you're in a mirrorless Canon camera. Whoopsie, I can see my shadow. And I'll get like just a close, close up shot here too. Hey, I love this. It looks so cool with like the green and the harsh like shadow and stuff. And then I want to do one here. I like all the greenery. I think like a backlit. Love me some backlit. Might try if you stand just here. Even where yeah. you're standing right now, it's like. Oh. Yeah, I can. I can feel it like yeah, on my face. So cool. Oh, I can see the cars in the background, but it looks so pretty. Maybe if you stand a little bit closer to the, in front of the tree. Maybe if I shoot from down here, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make this work. The lighting is so pretty. The camera and lens still performed well under these backlit portrait scenarios, and I had lots of photos in focus to choose from. The bokeh looks great as well. It's well-defined and very clean, which I love for my portraits. I did notice that it had a pretty strong lens flare, but I do like that it placed off to the side of my portraits. Try and get like a close up here because the lighting is just so dreamy, mm -hmm. but like you can just see that car. <laughs> anyway, if I get a close up, you can't see the car, it's too blurry. One of the things I love the most about this lens is the size and weight. Especially when you factor in the lens also has image stabilization and an aperture of f1.8, this makes it a really attractive option for someone looking for a daily lens, a lens to travel with, or for long days of photography.
That would be cool if you like kind of like grab the leaf. How do I, what should I do? So I'll go. Oh yeah, that's cool. You like nature lady. <laughs> Oh, I love that. This is so cool. Oh, that one was really cool. Go back. That one. Yeah. Ooh. All right, and we'll go down the street a little bit more. See if we can find somewhere without any cars. Crazy those steps are. Oh that's, my god. Wow. We should go to that yellow house. Yeah. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Oh, I love that. Let me try and get like a. If I tilt this out, I can point it towards myself. Such an interesting like location. Let me try and get like a closer up shot there too. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of palm tree in there. It looks cool. I liked you kind of laying down on your arm there, how you did before for a second. That was cool. I love those. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe just out here a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, because you can see a bit of the pattern on the floor, which looks really cool. Lean your elbow on the... <laughs> like I'm just like hanging everywhere. <laughs> and then uh, can I do one more of you sitting on that first step too? Ooh, pretty. Yes, yeah, so I love like the colour of these tiles yeah, too. Yeah, it's so different, isn't it? Yeah, that looks awesome. Maybe you could even lean with your elbow on that little thingy. Oh, right. Like that, yeah, if you sit a bit closer to it. I want to say thank you to Canon Australia for lending me this kit for me to shoot with. Let me know in the comments what other Canon gear you guys would like to see me use and I can make some videos about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye. Get a like a super close up here too. And then did you also want to try one? If you put your um, elbows on your knees, you can kind of rest your...